Many homes in a major airport in southern Brazil are underwater. Record-breaking rainfall since April 27th has caused the level of the Guaiba River in the state of Rio Grande do Sul to rise to a record high 5.3 meters. While the Brazilian government has been implementing water management plans to strengthen infrastructure for more than a decade, days of torrential rain have made water courses overflow and even a hydroelectric dam to collapse. The ambassador of Brazil to Thailand, His Excellency José Borges dos Santos Jr., told Tiberius World that the state cannot accommodate such a huge amount of water and is forecast to continue raining in coming days. Uh, the rivers uh, from that region flow into a small, uh, into a lagoon called Lagoa dos Patos, and from there it rains into the sea. It drains, the whole water drains into the sea. But this lagoon has a very uh, narrow outflow, a uh, very narrow uh, uh, outlet. So there's only a limited amount of water that gets out mm. uh, at a time. And you also have to count on the wind. An aspect points out that the flooding could take a few weeks to subside. What makes the dire situation worse is the cold weather. As the temperature plummets below 10 degrees Celsius, the ambassador said climate change is having an impact in every corner in the globe and the government should build new infrastructure immediately. He also advocates a fundraising initiative by the Brazil Thai Chamber of Commerce for those affected by the inundation. What we can do from our side, actually, it's the Brazil Chamber of Commerce initiative yeah. to do fundraising. And they are doing a great job, and I don't have the numbers, but I, they work very closely with us. Mm. And I know that a lot of our friends and, and have, uh, have made very great amounts of donations from people who trade mm. with Brazil, from the other chambers of commerce in, in Thailand. Yeah. And uh, they've all been very generous, and I'm very thankful for that. The ambassador said the support from Thailand can help provide Brazilians with relief from the extreme weather quickly. The connection between the two countries is reflected in stronger trade. Brazil exports a lot of soybeans and leather, and the country imports auto parts from Thailand. The ambassador, however, noticed the Thai government's sluggish cooperation with Brazil. But the thing is, for example, we've been asking a technical visit uh, of inspection from the Department of Livestock uh, Development of the uh, Ministry of Agriculture. Yep. We've asked for a technical visit to our plants, to inspect our plants for the last three years and we still haven't had a response. So mm. things go very slowly and, and uh, there must be a reason perhaps. The ambassador aims to reinforce communication and cooperation with Thailand's government through the good quality and prices of Brazilian products. In his 45-year diplomatic career, Thailand is his first assignment in Asia. The ambassador told me that the food and rapid growth of Bangkok are very impressive. When it comes to food, uh, my choices always uh, lean towards the simplest things. I like, for example, uh, pineapple fried rice with ah, shrimp. Right. Tom Kha Gai. Mm, I Tom like uh, pomelo salad. Mm. And uh, also enjoy very much eating um, mango sticky rice. Feng Kanshi reporting for Thai PBS World.